Let me explain. This is Noel Dazel. Who is Noel Dazel? He's a South African fitness influencer and TikTok star who's taking the internet by storm with his motivational videos. But today, we'll let him tell his story. Let me explain. Daddy Noel in the house, big boy. Finally good to meet up with you and finally Brian, make this happen. I've been trying to do this for a while. So I know. Thank you for having me. It's time to get frisky. I'll show you how to do it. Have you ever done this? Uh, I, I, I've attempted this machine. Okay, okay. Yeah. It, oh, this, it, this it's unique, it's yeah. unique. What came to my brain immediately was your skit about <laughs> step bro and stuff. Oh, stuck. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm dying. How much do you bench? I pull back in terms of how much weight. I used to lift heavy, but to the point I started to injure myself. So I changed up my training technique and yeah, I man, still having incredible lifts. Hell yeah. Cool. I, I know you're a strong guy, right? Yeah. So I'll try my best to keep up with you. What? You just don't, don't hold back, right? You, what do you mean? No, I I've know. seen you keep up with Larry, bro. Dude, so. oh, uh, keep up with Larry. I don't know if we can say that. <laughs> you want a 45? We're just, going, we're just going right to it. That's not a problem. I'm feeling good. Here we go. That was actually insane. Yeah, well done, bro. I, I'm happy sticking to the 245s and then we can just go yeah, for reps yeah. on that. That's right. He's weaker than me. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's a win right there. Do you uh, do you use protection? <laughs> you, you do? Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm a very uh, safety precautious kind of guy, okay. so I like to always... Yeah, safe sets. Yeah, going safe sets, yeah. Here, here's some protection. Thank you, bro. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He dropped the condom. Bumbled. I'm not going to lie. It's like kind of making me feel good that I'm keeping up with the same weight with you. Yeah, bro. Because you're natural, right? Yeah, I'm natural. Yeah, do you think, strength, just, do I, what do you size? think? Do I look natural? Nah. No with a chest like that, bro. Oh, you think so? <laughs> yeah. How you feeling? I'm going to earn my lunch off to that. Just. I am now your trainer, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make you the next Mr. Olympia. We're gonna be doing a barbell row. Yeah. All right, are you sweating? You're you all right? Yeah, it's just a little bit in my eye, but I can't oh. even see you properly. Can I get it for you? Should I give it a kiss? Please. <laughs> oh, I, don't know. I thought you were asking for a kiss, bro. Do you mind grabbing my metal rod from the other side? That's a thick rod. That's a thick rod. Is that the thickest rod that you've ever held? Mm, yeah, that's a little thick. That's well, a thick yeah, rod, yeah. What is it like being so freaking jacked? So I'm. In all seriousness. Right now, it's slightly uncomfortable. I'd say with the primary reason, it's kind of affecting my sleep and my energy levels. I'm in like a bulk phase at this point. Okay. Last time I weighed myself, and I have gained slightly. I was around 302 with my you sleep. You weigh 302 pounds? Yeah, but as my weight increases, my sleep quality deteriorates. What body fat would you say you're at right now? Uh, well, I would hate okay. 14. You can still see this. Yeah, no, you're freaking lean. Relatively. Right? What do you think I abs, am? Abs are still there. I put you at like, 10. All right. All right, that's, that's pretty good. Not yet. Do I have to do the finger test? Do it. Oh, you're pretty tight there. <laughs> <laughs> hold up, hold up. Did he just go, bro? Pretty tight, man. <laughs> Say that to your friends next time you're behind them. See how they respond. You want to go heavier? I, I think like, you should. You know what? I, you think I should? Yeah. Okay, we'll do it. Can you row me? I mean, I can try. Like, let's try it. Don't hurt yourself. Come on, one, two, three, four, five. I'm dying, I'm dying. Bro, I've never been rowed in my life. That was the coolest moment of my life. All right, now your turn, come on. You gonna row me? Yeah, bro, you're nothing. Before we go farther in today's video, let me explain. Gym bros around the country have been searching for the perfect protein bar for years. Until now, with the new Built Bar Snickerdoodle Puff Flavor Drop. This will be the best thing you ever put in your mouth. Well, for some of you, it might be the second. Not only is this the best protein bar you'll ever put in your mouth, but it's only 160 calories with 15 grams of protein. That is unreal and unmatched for the flavor you're getting. Now, because I'm a fellow gym bro and trying to help you reach your full potential, Please click that first link down below and get Built Bar today. The new flavor is magnificent. Now let's get back to the video. Come on, Romy, Romy. Oh. <laughs> Next time, I'm just still tired from my last set. You gotta motivate yourself in certain ways. Find the way. You gotta motivate do yourself. It. We'll have some good gym bros too. Yeah, yeah, keep motivate you, me. Keep come you on. in check. Oh, come on! <laughs> I actually was so excited. Come on! Okay, yeah, that was a good That's one. That's what gym bros do. <laughs> oh, man! I almost caught him. Hey, 
Hey guys, I'm gonna be selling this on my. Just wanna let you know that it's a uh, $7,000. There's all of Noel's sweat on it. Do you need extra motivation? Uh, yeah, yeah. Fuck okay, it. come I'm on. Sick. Oh. Let's go. What has been your hardest struggle in life that you've overcome? I really lack self-confidence. I'm what six two, six three. And I used to weigh for most of my life. I was very skinny. I was bullied. There was other camp that would come out and I, I would run. I know the first YouTube video that we attempted took like three days to film. Really? Because I just, I just could not sit there and address the camera. I was, wow. I was so afraid, I was so scared of the camera. I think definitely is one of the biggest hurdles that I've had to overcome, which has uh, positively benefited others, if that makes sense. Yeah, so, yeah. But the Jamie thing is, has helped you? Significantly, the most? Wow. tremendously. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. What would you say is the same for yourself? I feel like I've overcome depression. I still feel it. The reason I am the way I am today is because I hit rock bottom. I was a division one lacrosse player. Did not want to do it anymore. Didn't want to go to school. I wanted to be doing this. I wanted to live this lifestyle, but that's not why I got depressed. I was depressed because I'm the type of person that when you put me in a scenario that I'm not meant to be in, like truly at heart, I like just kind of crumble. Like I'd sleep through the day on purpose because I didn't want to be like alive basically. I just, I, I couldn't handle life. I was like, F this. If I have to do this for another year, like I don't even see myself being here. Like that what type of, you know, darkness. The outlets that I had was the gym. Yeah. It's the only place I felt okay. I'd go, I'd lift, I'd forget everything. i put on my favorite music. It was the gym music that saved, literally saved my life. And yeah. kept me from not wanting to be alive, basically. Yeah. My why on social media, and like everything I do, one, I love making content. I love yeah. filming regardless if I'm getting views or not. Yeah. Yeah. But if I can be the outlet to somebody else's darkness, that is like more than anything I can ask for. Because 100%. when I see a comment say, yo man, I was having a terrible day and you took me out of that. Yeah. That's like, I'm like, that's why I'm doing it. I don't give a f what you do. Yeah. You want to do CrossFit, bodybuilding, strength training, whatever, but just get into the gym and just be fit and active meet like-minded people. It's awesome that we get to turn our darkest time or darkest feelings about ourselves into a positive reflection to everybody else. It's just like musicians, you know? They're singing music for people to relate to, yeah. and that gets people through things. We took our insecurities and our hardest moments, put it into content, and turned it into life. After learning so much about Noel's past, it motivated me more than ever. What are we doing next? You gotta take me through the next exercise. Okay, so I propose we do a superset. Um, we're gonna go relatively heavy on this row, and then we're gonna move over to a dumbbell row, and we're gonna do more of like an arch row. Okay. Really, just to focus and control on that Super one. Superset? You mean a, a compound set? Compound. That's what it actually is called. I don't call it that, I call it a superset. You know, the best way to do this is to thrust at the same time. Multi-purpose practice. <laughs> I almost just broke my back. <laughs> yeah, I was like, whoa. Let me see your best dance move. Oh god. You ever bro. go to the club sometimes? I know, I know. Oh my while, god, bro. that was that was the greatest move I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> What's a South African word that I don't know? Push. Push? Push club. What, that, what, what the hell what does that mean? Push club. So this is a push. Oh club. my god. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. I'm gonna push roll. <laughs> crying right now. Literally basically crying. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I love that it's like an inside joke now. <laughs> Tattoo um, definition time. Oh God. So this one, I accidentally tattooed my girlfriend on me and I didn't mean to. I, I, pick, I chose a picture of a girl and it looks exactly like my girlfriend. And loyal. So like one of the biggest traits that I think is being loyal to your friend, your family, your girlfriend, whatever, loyalty. Um, and then also being the king to your own world is what it symbolizes. And it's like to remind myself that I am king of my own world. So not to say I'm better than anybody, but I need to treat myself like I am where I should be yeah. in order to act like that and, 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 and produce everything I possibly can to the best of my ability. Because if you're not confident and thinking that I'm the king, you got nothing. Confidence is key in life. Without it, I think literally it can destroy you. When I don't feel confident, I don't feel like myself. I can't even act like myself.
not forget. So relentless. Peace. Bro, you're tight. <laughs> Did he get nine? <laughs> <laughs>